Hi all, I am Ruthruk Pundimuthal and my team member is Shankar Pandiala. In this lab assignment, we will be describing you how to find Facebook mutual friends using map reducers in the first part and comparing HBase and Cassandra in the second part. For this, we take the input in the form of a text file where the left hand side represents the user ID and the right hand side represents the IDs of the particular user, in this case user 0. So, we create a mapper file where the left hand side is stored into this friend 1 and right hand side list is uh, iterated and compared with each id or the integer value and set and in reduce case we compare the key with present in the map or not and then append to the string builder to display into the result so when we run this program By the time we get the output, I'll describe this part using the pictorial representation which I've included in my GitHub page. So if this is my output input that is A has a friends of B, C, D and B has A, C, D, E. My mapper consists of this result, a similar result, not maybe exactly the same. And the reducer will give me the final result of A and B have a mutual friends of C and D. And A and C will have mutual friends of B and D. And whenever A, C re reaches A's profile, it shows B and D as the mutual friends. Let's see if the output has been done. Yes, we have the output here and let's check there. So, so yes, 0 and 10 have a mutual friends of 12, 16, 30 and 0 and 11 does not have any. Now let's go to the second part that is comparing Cassandra and Hutchbase. Our user data, I've created a table for Netflix users using this CSV file user containing the following data, user ID, user type, user name, join date, last activity, uh, country and genre. Once I loaded them, then I'll be performing the queries to find the particular results. So I'm trying to find the details of the users who are inactive using this query. Uh, then for the user types of paid, I'm trying to find the last activity and genre of the users and then to provide further recommendations. Then finding the trial and date and genre and join date of particular user with user ID too. Similarly, using hbase it's quite different but let's see how to do so we create a table called netflix users with the column family user details and user activity the user details will have these uh, columns username user type country and genre whereas user activity will have join date last activity and last watch and then uh, uh, let's see the details of the use entered user using this command which gives the details of row one Similarly, I've entered details for the user 2 and then my queries would be uh, Yeah, get, my query is to find the country details of the user 1 that is the first one and second we scan the table and uh, filter the results based on those users who are uh, with this user type trial which gives me this following data and then for the same table we find the users who have watched the rampage movie and then we find the user details using this column and now let's go to the final part that is comparing hbase and cassandra which is available on my github page hbase supports consistency and availability whereas cassandra supports availability and partition tolerance hbase is of master slave model and cassandra is of active to active or peer to peer model coming to the conclusion Cassandra has high availability, minimal administration and no single point of failure. On the other side, HPC is good for faster reading and writing the data with linear scalability. Thank you.